Up for sale now Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2008 Mercedes-Benz ML 550. Black on the outside with black leather interior. Completely loaded up with factory navigation, factory uh, DVDs, factory power moonroof, intelligent, intelligent key, front and rear parking sensors, power tailgate, running boards, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and qualifies for the Carfax buyback guarantee, as well as it qualifies for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is the zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. It's got four nearly brand new Dunlop tires. You can see it's still got still plenty of thread left on them. It does have the... Uh, AMG wheels, factory running boards. I've got the car running right now simply because I wanted to uh, show you the DVD so I wouldn't have to stop and start them again. And these are uh, factory installed DVDs, okay? <clears throat> They're not aftermarket. All right, let's. Um, it also has this intelligent type key. Now, this type of key, you really don't have to be even put it in the ignition, you put it in your pocket. When you approach the vehicle, every door handle has a little knob here, a switch. You press it once for that door and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. So not only the front ones have it, but also the rear ones. And then when you get inside the car, all you got to do is hit that push button to start, which is uh, right over here. So you never really have to take the key out of your car, not even to lock it. There's your uh, navigation. And uh, well, let's start off by the door panels here. We're going to stop at every panel here. Door panels are all charcoal black with the wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power mirrors, power tailgate. You can open the tailgate by pressing the switch right here. Also, by squeezing the tailgate handle or by pressing right here on the uh, tailgate option on your remote control. Driver's side power seat, power recliner. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area nice and slow now so you can see it's in really, really good shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seat, door panel, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. You got automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise. Uh, you got your controls here for your, uh, I think this is for the tap shifting, uh, but we'll explore that in just a minute. Uh, let me go ahead and get inside and get it started. Actually, before I do, I want to show you it's got these heavy duty rubber mats for, for Mercedes here, factory ones, and they have anchors so they don't slide around. And not only do I have it for the front, but I also have it for the uh, back area over here. Okay? These don't have anchors, but the important one to have anchors is the driver's one. And I even got one back here for the uh, cargo area. By the way, this vehicle is 4MATIC, which means it's all-wheel drive. All right, you got even the heavy uh, rubber one back here to protect your carpeting underneath, okay? You also got a privacy cover that you slide, and it falls in these slots here. That way people can see your valuables when they're, they're peeking through the window. To close the tailgate, we can do it right here. And let's go back to the, um, let's go back to the uh, interior of the uh, vehicle. I still got a lot of stuff to show you over there. All right, let me sit down here. And uh, actually, let me start off by putting on the AC because it's pretty hot out there today. All right, there we go. That's a little bit there, so you can hear me talk. All right, let's start off with the um, with the power moonroof. It is a uh, glass moonroof. It is tinted, but also has a hard cover that blocks out the sun, and it's a one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open up. All right, the, um, okay, there's your navigation, um, and it's a color navigation. When you put the vehicle in reverse, as I just did, you get a full color camera, okay? And this is all touch here, you touch here for park, and then you step on the brake and hit the lever up for reverse and down for drive, okay? 
The car has 76,020 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. Everything is running and working to perfection. Uh, it also has the uh, current temperature on the outside, okay, as well as the triple odometer above. Um, let's see here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, put on some music here. And uh, we're going to go here to AM FM. Oh, we already have FM here. And you can um, you can raise the volume right here. Coming up this week, uh, this week or lower Thursday the volume here. In Fort Lauderdale. Can... Once you pair your phone, this is your Bluetooth controls here. And this is your voice command. And this is to um, navigate about your personal settings and system check and all that. That all actually shows up in here. Okay. But we're not going to do that now. Chris control is over here. Uh, okay, you got heated seats. If you press it once, you're gonna be on um, on high. You press it again, medium, one more time, low, and one more time, you turn it off. And of course, you got that on both sides. Uh, you can disable the parking sensors by pressing that button over there. You get also descent control and uh, different uh, and also different settings for terrain. Put it in max. By the way, you got dual climate control, so you could. This this uh this side here controls the, uh, the AC vents on the left hand side of the vehicle, and then the other wheel over there controls the vents on the other side over there. Okay, um, let's see what else here. Okay, uh, you got a uh, you got an auto dimming mirror that has a sensor that senses bright light. So when somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Underneath the mirror is your uh, universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Uh, you got cup holders here in the center. This here is just a little tray. This one here is your ashtray, which looks like it's never been used. Definitely no odor of smoke and no burn holes whatsoever. You got storage over here in the center. And uh, this is for your, to control your Bluetooth. And this one here is your remote control for your DVDs from factory. Okay, your main glove box is over here. And in here is the owner's manual. Let me see if I can reach over here. And you get also uh, iPod interface or iPhone interface. Let's go ahead and close that up here. Uh, let's see up here. Okay, you got um, you got vanity mirrors. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now, so you can see it's in really, really good condition. No cuts, no tears, not even stress marks. Just in really nice shape. You have also a uh, curtain side airbags. Uh, it has a leather wrap steering wheel, and I'll go around it nice and slow so you can see it's in perfect shape. I mean, no issues whatsoever, no cuts, no tears, none of the stitching coming is uh, stitch, uh, the stitching is coming apart. Uh, and there's no color missing on it. Just a really, really nice shape. Um, all the windows. Um, and all the controls are in nice shape too. Uh, all the windows are uh, automatic up and automatic down. What that means is you press and hold for a second and let it go and the window goes all the way down and also all the way up. You don't have to hold the switch on any of the four windows. All right, um, let's pan over the dashboard now here so you can see it's also in perfect shape. No blemishes whatsoever. Uh, no cuts, no tears, no cracks, no burn holes. It's not lifting up anywhere. So the vehicle is in remarkable shape, really, really nice. All right, um, I think we're ready to move on to the back. By the way, to turn off the vehicle, all you got to do is hit the stop button here. Okay, and remember the keys, that's actually my hand. It's not in my pocket, but it's the same thing. What I mean to say is you don't need to, um, you don't need to have the key out of your pocket. Now, once you, by the way, it's also got the uh, Harman Kardon stereo sound system, which is the top of the line for Mercedes. Now, uh, once you exit the vehicle, you want to, um, to close it, you press on the press here one time, and all four doors are going to lock up. I'm not going to press it now because I'm still got lots more to show you. All right, uh, rear door panels the same as in the front, all charcoal black with a wood trimming. This is a five-passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the middle or back because this, these cars do not come with a third row seat. Behind these plastic covers here, you remove them, and there's anchors for your baby car seat should you need to place one. And these seats here, I believe, that you can fold them forward to go into cargo mode. Okay. 
um, and they're independent from each other, so you can do one side and not the other. All the passengers have an over-the-shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses that one. The ones that the uh, passengers use are coming off over here, of the, of the sides here. If you don't have a middle row passenger, I believe this opens up into a cup holder, an armrest. In the back of the center console, you got AC vents for the mid-row passengers, okay, and they can also control their temperature back here. They can control um, uh, uh, how cold or hot it is. Uh, they have also in, uh, phone jacks here for the, for the headphones for the DVDs, and they can control the volume independently by turning this little wheel. There's another one over here, and it control they can control where the fan flows. Uh, this is another ashtray back here. It doesn't even look used either. And way down there, and I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of dark, is another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. All right, uh, and you got a uh, curtain set airbags over here too for the heads of the uh, rear row passengers. Let's go ahead and pan over the um, headliner now so you can see there's no stains, no burn holes, it's not sagging anywhere. Just really, really nice this car. Um, all right, let's go back again to the, um, to the back. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Uh, the wheels don't have curb rash. Uh, these are your parking sensors. Those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. There are two on each side of the bumper and as well on the front bumper too. You get a class three heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection there ready to go for all your towing needs. Rear wiper, rear window defrosters. Let's get this open up back here. Okay, and you can see how the seat is, um, it's, uh, it's like 60% on this side and 40% on this side, and again, you can flip them both down. You got another cigarette lighter adapter over here for your chargers, and again, like I told you before, you have this uh, heavy-duty cover, which actually even covers the back of the seat, so it's, uh, it's really protecting your vehicle back here. All right, on, so we can close the tailgate and also lock the doors right here. I'm not going to lock them down because I'm going to keep going around the vehicle to show you every aspect of it in here. Right rear tail light. Perfect shape, okay? Again, all the tires are in the same condition, nearly brand new. These tires cannot have more than a couple thousand miles on them, if that much. Right rear door panel, same way, all black, with the wood trimming, the silver accent here and here. Uh, speaker covers are not cracked, none of them. And you get the heavy duty floor mats. And uh, let's pan over this, this seating area here now. All nice, by the way, you get seat side airbags as well on the rear seats and the front seats. And just really, really nice shape. You get you got your baby anchors here too. Another look at the headliner from a different angle here. And let's go ahead and move on to the front. Right front door panel, same way. Perfect shape, no cracks, no cuts, no burn holes, no speaker covers are damaged. Uh, power seat and power recliner on the passenger side as well, and I think we have a um, let's see how we have uh, side airbags here Okay, and let's pan over the, pa uh, the passenger seating area one more time from a different angle just so you can see it's in great shape All right, um <coughs> Let's go ahead and come around to the front here <coughs> Four-wheel disc brakes anti um, anti-lock braking system these are the parking sensors in the front bumper. You got also fog lights. There's, uh, there's four, six sensors in the front bumper. And all the headlights are also nice and clear. They're not, they're not faded or, or damaged in any way. The grill's in really good shape. No love bug damage, no dings, no dents. These lines you're seeing here, they're not scratches. They're just reflections of the lights in the side of the warehouse and also on the roof of the warehouse. So I don't want you to think you're seeing any damage. As you see, they'll move along with me, so it's obviously not damaged. All right, um, before we conclude this video, I want to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned of, about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the home page, You'll see a tab up at the top of the page that says apply for credit. There's also a, another tab on each individual page of each vehicle. Just click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. Um, if I miss something in this video, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. I try to cover as much as I can, but sometimes I miss stuff here and there. I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. 
That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.